life sucks. Let me go into my comment section and see if anyone said anything good about me. Wait, what? What I would really like to hear is the story of how Outlaw's parents found out he was a dipper. is brought to you by Modelo. Oh! 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 Yeah, that seems about right. <laughs> yeah, what's cracking, y'all? Yeah, what's cracking, mother truckers? What's cracking, sons of dicks? My name's Outlaw. Welcome back to the Outlaw channel. I was looking down in the comment section and a bunch of people commented this, that they wanted to hear how my parents found out I dipped. And I was thinking about it and I was like, I kind of don't, almost don't even remember how it happened. And then it got me thinking of just like the beginning of me dipping and like how much of a big deal that it actually is to parents like how much like if i was a parent which hopefully soon i will be huh huh who who thinks who thinks huh little outlaws running around what do you guys think man what do you guys think man i'm ready also if i have a kid what should i name it dude i already have my name i think i already have a name picked out but what do you guys think should if I have a son, what should my son's name be? And if I have a daughter, what should my daughter's name be? Let me know in the comments below. You guys got any good names? I'm willing to I'm I'm willing to get some advice. Everybody's got cool names now, you know what I'm saying? Like nobody nobody names their kid Dan. <laughs> nobody names their kid Tom. Okay, never mind. Dan named his kid Tom. <laughs> That's actually I didn't even mean to do that. Nobody names their kid fat boy anymore you know what i'm saying dude it's just like it's it's this weird thing everybody's got these cool names now like what's elon musk kid's name like freaking something weird dude yeah elon musk kid name x a e a dash 12. that's why he's so smart because every single time he has to say his kid's name he's got to do some type of mathematical equation in his head whoa is that who elon musk is married to who is that dude it's apparently a singer that's her Oh, dude, they're a match made in heaven, to be honest with you. Two freaks. Two straight-up <laughs> freaks, man. Oh, boy. I'd pay to see that on OnlyFans. Uh, what, what, uh, speaking of freaks, welcome to the Outlaw Channel. <laughs> Anyways, it got me thinking, like, what do parents really think? You know, like, if your parents came and, and found out that you're smoking cigarettes or something like that, like, what would it be like, you know? And so I was thinking about it and, and trying to play it back in my head how my parents found out. Oh, dude, I can't even get into my own Facebook here. I hate Facebook, man. It's the worst gosh dang website I've ever... I like straight up pretty much just stay on Instagram because Snapchat changed. I mean, Instagram changed and I almost quit. Almost quit it, man. I can't stand when websites change all the time and they change the platform. Oh my gosh, look at all these old pictures of me. I threw this in the, in the last thumbnail. I thought this was hilarious, dude. Like me at 16 years old. 2007. This is pretty much right whenever I started YouTube videos. And look how young I look, dude. I, I can't even believe that. I started, believe it or not, I started YouTube videos on in-law's cell phone. It was a slide phone that had like a one megapixel camera on it. And it was the worst video. And we couldn't get audio, remember? And so I did like miming videos. Yeah. I like we could get audio out of it. So I just somehow, I don't know, man. But... You were a diva since day one. A diva since day one, man. I was like, I, I gotta have the right cat. Anyways, let's go into the drawer and dip today. What do we got? Oh, snap, son. Backwoods blueberry. I can't get off of the backwoods blueberry right now. This one's for y'all, man. Mm -mm. That's the one. Dude, okay. You, you see me? I started in 2007, man. Look at me. Look at me, dude. I'm a mud jug salesman. Since 2008, man. 2007. Look at me. Look at me, dude. I'm like, yeah, I'm a mudjuck salesman. Oh! Mudjuck up the gosh dang day! Simpson ball mudjug. All you Simpson fans out there, you guys like some cartooners? Simpson ball mudjug available for you. Mudjug.com, the greatest spittoon to the moon. Doesn't freaking spell, bitch. Greatest Christmas present anybody could ever get right here. Dude, mudjug and fill your stocking with outlaw dip. That's the greatest gosh dang thing you can get for Christmas. Am I right or am I right? So before I start diving into a whole bunch of this kind of stuff, I want to go through the story in my head, all right? This is the only thing that I can remember. Pistol Pete. You remember Pistol Pete? Yes. My buddy Pistol Pete got kicked out of his house. Probably because he was an idiot, all right? <clears throat> I was an idiot too, man. Back in the high school days, dude, we were just a bunch of idiots, okay? But anyways, my buddy Pistol Pete gets, gets kicked out of his house. His mom 
you know, went crazy, kicked him out, okay? He's doing some some crazy stuff. We we stole our car one time and let off fireworks inside. It was brand new. It was one day old, and we took it four-wheeling. Um, it was a Honda Civic, <clears throat> and uh, actually, it might have been an Accord, <laughs> and uh, then we lit off fireworks in the back, and we brought it back the day after she got it, and it was muddy, and there was firework burns all over the seat, and um, I think that might be why. So, moving on, he gets kicked out, and I basically force him into my basement, uh, and I don't know if my... Uh, my old mama outlaw was like too happy about that. She kind of just like let it happen and we just moved all this stuff in. I didn't even ask. I was just like, hey, yeah, he's moving in, you know? And she was like, uh, what? You know, whatever. I was like, oh, it'll only be for a couple weeks or whatever, right? So at that point, my buddy Pistol Pete and I, if you guys remember the, the, the last story, this is, this is right around the time when I first start dipping, okay? I asked Pistol Pete to give me a can. He was 18 at the time and I was like, hey man, give me a can, dude. I want to try this crap. And he's living with me in my room in the basement. And we're just dipping our faces off, man. We're just freaking loving life. Dipping, dude. We're not smoking cigarettes. We're not doing meth, heroin, cocaine, nothing like that, man. We're just dipping, all right? We're having fun trying all the flavors and, and, and doing all this crap, right? <laughs> as stupid as that sounds. So then we decide, and this is what gave it up right here. I had a little wall in my room, and I'm gonna throw a picture up right here. This is it. Okay, oh wow, this is like the worst picture. <laughs> so small. This was taken on probably your cell phone. Yeah. Um, this right here is my very first dip tower ever, okay? And I still remember showing this to people at my school and then being like, oh my gosh, dude, that's the biggest tower I've ever seen in my life. It was crazy, dude. I was like a celebrity, man. It was awesome, you know? Times are... Change. Look, at, we got Skull Peach in there. We got Skull Apple. We got Cope. We got Copenhagen Snuff. We got Skull Mint and, and Grizzly Straight and all these different types of dips up in this first dip tower, right? Well, we started setting this up in my room because at this point, dude, I didn't tell my parents nothing. Now, I wouldn't dip in front of them, okay? And if they came downstairs and I could hear them, we would take them out really quick and make sure that, uh, you know, that my mom... Well, okay, let's just say, we're not talking about my parents, all right? We're talking about my mom, because let's just talk about Pop Outlaw for a second. Pop Outlaw didn't give a crap about nothing, okay? We could be smoking meth, and he'd be like, hey, what's up? All right, see you, love you. Yeah, well, okay, he wouldn't say I love you, but you know what I mean? <laughs> <laughs> he just, he would he wouldn't give a, a dick, all right? He didn't care about nothing, okay? He was oblivious, man. <laughs> mom Outlaw, on the other hand, Complete opposite, man. She was your typical mom, dude. She knew. She freaking knew when you were doing something wrong. So, anyways, we put this dip tower up in my room on the ledge, you know? And it might not have been this big at this point. But Mom Outlaw comes in to wake me up and, and, and old Pistol Pete for school because we were lazy sons of dicks and just wouldn't get up. And we'd stay up until 2 in the morning watching Outlaw Josie Wales or something like that. And she comes in there, dude, waking me up. And she goes, you guys better not be doing that crap. That's all I remember. You guys better not be doing that crap. And I was like, I don't know what she's talking about. And uh, I don't know why I decided to like put a dip tower in my room. I just thought it was some type of like, we're creating a, 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 a structure, some type of structure that like, hey man, we're doing something with our life. We're dipping our faces off and we're building a tower, man. This is cool, right? I don't really remember exactly how I reacted, but I remember being a little bit embarrassed. Like, hey, what am I doing? Like, why am I putting a dip tower out there for my mom to see it, man? Like, what is she gonna do to me, dude? I mean, I was probably, I was 16 years old, but she still whooped me, dude, <laughs> all right? I don't give a crap if I was uh, 18. Okay, I, I'm almost 30, okay? She still whoops my ass, to be honest with you, all right? She, she would have no trouble making you feel stupid in front of your friends. So, she was a great mom. And, and I'm saying that with all due respect because she she really, she wanted you to be safe, make good choices, and I, I think she did everything right. But dude, these dip towers, man, they just kept growing, all right? I think I might have taken it down at first and then I just said, screw it, man, I don't care. What's she gonna do, man? She, gonna, she can't kill me, dude. She loves me too much, you know what I'm saying? So then we built this tower here. Look at this one, man. We built this shelf. Built this shelf, put some little cubby holes for the bread man bags, and then and then just like displayed them. Yeah, what the heck were we thinking, dude? We got so creative back in the day, man. 
we got some other towers here. Here's another one. When the cans started getting crazy, we just started stacking them up on the wall, putting energy drink cans and stuff on there. Here's, here's where it gets bigger. <laughs> this is hilarious, man. This is so funny to me. I remember this is like when I first started making vidges because uh, uh, this was like in the background. Had some of my old fight posters back there, wrestling posters. Dude, this is hilarious, man. Here's when the, we started doing the pyramid. Golly, man, all on that wall. Here, it just, look at this, man. We were buying Husky and this is crazy. The first time I get mud jugs right here, we start putting them up on the couch. Dude, the career of outlaw dip and everything just started right here. This was a big pyramid. Had like a shelf, look, we bolted it to the wall. This is crazy, man. It just kept getting bigger from there. Then I decided to put it in between two dressers because it started getting too heavy. We even color coordinated it, man. And then look at this. This is when I went to Florida. This is this is my Florida house. All these other ones were in Colorado. This is in Florida. I brought all these dang dip cans with me to Florida <laughs> to build this in Florida when I moved back. Look how small that TV is. <laughs> All right, guys, you can see we put some Christmas lights up in the background. And since Christmas is coming up, it's the time to give back. And sometimes I feel like I don't give back enough. So this year, what we're doing is we're helping out. Salvation Army's Angel Tree Program, which helps kids who um, can't get presents. Basically, we, uh, we use our money and buy these kids presents and buy presents for them and then we give it to them and then they hand them out to them on Christmas so I think it's a very important thing we actually got that um, done to us when we were kids a couple times you know we grew up super freaking broken I think that was one of the best Christmases we had man it was cool it was like we we all we had to do was write down kind of like what we liked and all that kind of stuff and then hey look at that man a bunch of people who cared you know, got us presents because our parents couldn't afford it. You know what I'm saying? So um, really cool thing. So what we're doing with this is we're going to be doing it through the wallets on outlawboots.com. So from now until December 12th, $10 from each wallet purchase. This is the Backwoods Badass wallet. $10 from each wallet purchase will go towards the Salvation Army Angel Tree program. We will use all of those proceeds from the Backwoods Badass wallets and purchase gifts for all the kids that would not have Christmas otherwise. We really want to do this for the kids that are out there and it has a special place in my heart since um, us growing up, we had the, the same thing happened to us and it really did turn out to be a magical Christmas so we want to definitely help some of these kids out and if you guys want to help out go get you a wallet from outlawboots.com these are up now on the site like I said ten dollars from every purchase will go back to the kids link to outlawboots.com is in the description box below I appreciate y'all let's make it a Merry Christmas for all these kids out here man so basically we just kept building these towers and eventually we just kept getting bigger and bigger and bigger and Mama Outlaw knew it, man. She had to know. She just kept seeing it get bigger and bigger and bigger and she didn't like it one bit, I don't think, to be honest with you. Should I just call her, dude? Mama Outlaw calling. Right there. Damn it. We should have checked with her beforehand. She's still pissed about me dipping, dude. She didn't answer my phone call. <laughs> she's supposed to, she's working right now, but you know what? I'm her son, dude. She's gotta love me. Hello? Hey, you're on video, so don't cuss, you gosh dang degenerate. I was in the middle of a meeting at work and I thought it was important. Oh, it is important, man. I got off my meeting because I was like, ooh, he's calling twice, it must be important. Yeah, dude, it is important. I need you to tell me a story really quick. Oh my! Do do you remember? Do you remember the fir when you, when you first caught me dipping? Do you remember what what like? Do you remember it? The only thing I remember is like being down in the basement and seeing a water bottle with the before gunk in it. Uh huh. Yeah. <laughs> and uh, and going, Jared. What are you doing? That stuff is so bad for you. Yeah, you know, that's all I remember. 
I think that was my first time realizing. So, course, so it was because I was spitting in a gosh dang bottle. That's why you should buy a mud jug, right, y'all? That's right, exactly. <laughs> and I think that's whatever, of course, you have to sell me on everything. You're like, oh, I've done my research. It doesn't cause cancer. <laughs> and <laughs> Hey, I did, though, man. I did. But now you can't get mad at me, right? Because we dip what? You can only buy it online at Keep It Frickin' Hillbilly. No, um, it's outlawdip.com, man. <laughs> See, your mom knows Jack. <laughs> Who's Jack? Yeah, who is Jack, man? What the hell? All right, well, I love you. You can get back to your meeting, I guess. Oh, gee, thanks. Wait till I tell my boss what it was all about. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> all right, see ya. All right, love you. Love you, bye. Bye. There you have it, folks. It was all because of a gosh dang water bottle, man. Do you remember, in-law, what we used to do? The we used to, liters. the two liters, yeah. dude? We used to fill up two liter bottles of spit. Yeah. <laughs> and we would display them. Be like, we filled that whole thing up. Yeah. How stupid were we, man? Gross. That was the dumbest thing ever. I remember all the stains you'd get on the carpet because you'd spill your spitters. Oh. And then no more stains happened after you got mud jugs. Yep. <laughs> Nothing happened after that, man, once we switched to mud jugs, dude. So this is what you do, guys. This is what you do, man. When you got it, when it comes to telling your parents that you dip, <laughs> just make sure you have a mud jug and outlaw dip. This is the... This, shut up, man. Okay? This is important. You get a mud jug. Okay? If they find your mud jug, it's just a pen holder, man. You get a pen or something. <laughs> You know, and it just holds a pen. It just, well, it's a pen holder for my desk because I'm a businessman, right? So there you go. That's what you do, right? Ooh, yeah. And then you dip outlaw dip. And whenever you have the outlaw dip, that's when you go, mom, dad, it's 100% tobacco free. There's no tobacco in it whatsoever. You don't have to say anything about the Nikki. Just tell them it's 100% tobacco free, pesticide free, fungicide free, not all the crap that they spray on uh, tobacco plants and things like that as preservatives and all this crap. It's the freshest, most organic dip that you could gosh dang get. And if it doesn't work out, just make sure to buy some like compression shorts or something with the pads on them for whenever she starts beating your ass. <laughs> Going down memory lane a little bit. Um, I would say my situation was not as bad as some kid's situation. <laughs> you know, some parents are, are a little crazy. Mom Outlaw can get crazy, man. Pop Outlaw got crazy with the belt, you know what I'm saying? But like, I don't think he really gave a dick about, I don't even think he knew what dip was, to be honest with you. <laughs> he just was so focused on other stuff, man. So um, I don't think my situation was as crazy. You guys let me know if you guys are dippers out there. And I, I know not everybody's a dipper, but like if you... Uh, have a funny story of how your parents found out you were dipping let me know in the comments below I love to hear y'all stories especially on the last video when we said like our first dipping experience a lot of those were hilarious that you guys left us in the comments below me and in-law go and read all the gosh dang comments so please leave us one down below my name's outlaw and I'm out y'all and that's in-law I'm in y'all and always remember to 25 8 366 keep it freaking hillbilly out in the sticks my name's outlaw and if you don't listen to me I'm going to put it on my tombstone